Hello, I'm Jennifer with Jennifer Decorates, and today's video is going to be very quick and very easy. I'm going to show you how I decorated my mantle for the holidays, so stay tuned. So the first thing you need to do, obviously, is go ahead and get your garland put on your mantle. Now, I have a large TV above the mantle with a sound bar, so I couldn't take my garland straight across. So what I did was I started over here and I added a little, I let a little garland kind of hang on the end and then I swagged it and centered it right under the TV and centered it with the mantle and then swagged it again on the other side, letting it come down the same amount. Now I have a wood mantle and so I just used very, very small nails to tap into the mantle that held my garland up there. But if you guys have a painted um, mantle or one you obviously do not want to put a nail in, I highly suggest these command hooks. Now these hold about three to five pounds, um, but they're great because first of all, they're white. Um, and then what you want to do is when you put it on the mantle, the hook is going to face towards the back and that way your garland will sit right in there. And you can either do two on the ends or you can do three if you want to do the swag like I did. And it doesn't damage your mantle. So adding lights to the tree or the garland is my least favorite thing to do. However, if you do it where you can really take your time so that the wires don't show, it really makes a big difference. It's terrible on a girl's nails. However, tucking it behind the pine cones and the extra sprigs really does make it look a lot better. I am not going to add a whole lot to my garland, but I am going to add um, a few sprigs. And I added frosted sprigs to my Christmas tree to make my tree look fro frocked, flocked. That could have been a bad word. <laughs> um, Sorry. Um, okay, let me start over. So I added a bunch of frosted different sprigs to my Christmas tree to kind of give it a flocked look. So I want to continue that same look in my garland on my mantle. So I'm going to add these. So let me tell you a little tip. When you go to add little sprigs to things or you're going to go shop for them, if you will go in the floral section, you'll find big sprigs and of course they cost more than one little sprig in just the sprig aisle, but the big floral you can snip off about five to eight different pieces. And sometimes they look a whole lot prettier than just the little sprigs do. So these were big branches and I think I got about mm, maybe six or seven of these. So all I'm gonna do is just gently tuck them into the garland all the way across. Here's another tip. When you're gonna add your sprigs, you wanna go in the same direction that your garland is going. See here how it's going this way? So you don't wanna put that sprig in the opposite direction. So follow the flow of your garland and that will make it look so much more natural. After I'm done adding all the frosted um, little stems, I step back and take a look just to make sure I've got them placed evenly around the garland. Here's the next sprig I'm gonna add. These were also in the floral aisle and there were like three clumps of them. So what I did was I took floral snips and I snipped, you could tell each little piece as you're going down that you could snip it and take it apart. This added such a really neat whimsical look to the garland. And I think for one stem, I got about 10 of these cute little sprigs. They're silvery, they're glittery, and they look great. Now, after you've trimmed these, you'll see there's the little piece where I've already snipped it make sure that you're tucking that into your garland where it doesn't show and it looks like it was a part of your garland. That is what's so fun about whether it's looking in the stem aisle or adding um, a different kind of a flower to your garland. You are making your garland custom, you're making it unique, and everybody will think you have mad design skills. Mm -hmm. 
Next thing I'm going to add are these two silvery uh, mag velvety magnolia flowers. I had them in my tree, so again, I'm going to pull that design into my garland, and I'm only doing two, and I'm only putting them on the very ends. So I snipped the magnolia with just about six inches left on the stem, and I'm going to bend it into a curve, and that way it will hook on to my garland a little bit easier and not fall off. Oh, how pretty is that? So for the center of my garland, I am going to add these two huge pine cones. I've had them forever. I don't even remember where I got them, but they're wired, ingenious. And I'm gonna add them to the garland and then I'm going to make a bow. I'm going to tie them on so that one pine cone kind of goes this way and one kind of goes the other way. Now, if you have a big pine cone, and it's not frosted with snow on it, all you have to do is just add some glue to the edges, sprinkle on a little snow and a little bit of glitter. And if it isn't wired, that's a really easy fix. You just get some floral wire. And this basically what this is, it's just kind of tucked into the pine cone and then you've got one wired. So the last thing I have to do is add my bow. I made one with two different ribbons, the same ones that I used on my Christmas tree, and I wired it on the back so that it will be easy to attach to the garland. I'm going to take the tails and tuck them behind the pine cones because I really want those to really stand out. And then you just have to fluff your bow. So for one last added feature, you could take just a little, just maybe one or two of the frosted sprigs. I'm just gonna do one and put it right at the top of the bow. And then I'm gonna add one of these little glittery sprigs. Oh, that just completely finished off that look. That's all it takes to make a beautiful garland. Just remember, do a really super good job about hiding your lights and always go check out the floral aisle in your local craft store because you can always find something really unique to put in your garland. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna have a lot more videos coming out later and hope you have a happy holiday.